Hello and welcome to another video of this Power BI Do It Yourself tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about how to upgrade to Pro version, the Power BI Pro version, and then installing a gateway. Please note that the version which we were working on till now is a free version. How do you know? When you try creating the, an app workspace, it says upgrade to PI, Power BI Pro. So let's see how to upgrade and then let's compare the differences of pro version to the free version and then we are going to talk about how to get the gateway installed so upgrade your free account using the power bi service on the power bi service from free to pro version how to do that is to upgrade just click on the try pro for free button and then let's see the differences so try pro for free and then start trial and then it should say that uh, your you have started your 60 day power bi pro trial and once you have the trial it's going to it's going to say on the top here that pro trial 59 days left and then you can create an app workspace i'm going to talk about this workspace in the next video but then uh, let's see the other differences the first one is it won't let you create app workspace if you have a free version so you have to upgrade it uh, next is in the apps also you can say uh, once you have the apps published I'll show you how to create an app in the later videos and then uh, in the my my workspace go to the data sets click on schedule refresh and then you would see that uh, the refresh would be activated once you have the gateway installed so I repeat the steps here again so in the my workspace go to data sets click on this open menu these three dots here and then click on schedule refresh So the first difference is that you can create an app and a new workspace but this is what we discussed already and then we will install the gateway uh, please note that the gateway can be installed in the free version also but the difference is that the automatic schedule refresh the schedule refresh cannot be set in the free version you have to have a pro version now So go to the data sets and click on the gateway connection install now. So this is what we were doing. Go to the data sets here. Click on gateway connection here and then install now. As, as soon as you say install now, you'll be taken to a new page here, which is download gateway. Now, please note that in some cases, uh, if you're not able to click this button for some reason or the other, uh, I'm using Firefox. So you can also go from download and data gateway and then you will see this now download the gateway it will say save file save the file and once the file is downloaded you can open file and execute it so on-premise gateway installer and you please note that in order to refresh the power bi dashboards you the gateway should al uh, always be on click on next and uh, there are two types of gateways the first one is the on-premise data gateway which is going to be uh, reused by multiple users can be used by power bi power apps logic apps and microsoft flow and then uh, it can support schedule refresh and live query but the personal mode which is available in the free version as well as pro but this on-premise data gateway is not available in the free version this is what is recommended but if you are using the free version and you want to do uh, on-prem data gateway personal mode this is what I would suggest you to do so let's click on this on-premise data gateway so it's getting ready to install it's doing its uh, normal procedure 
So the next step is install and configure the gateway as shown in the video. So it gives you that this gateway should always be on on a computer which does not sleep. So it's it need, most likely needs to be a server. And if it's a wireless network, so it detects it's a wireless network, it performs slower. So that's fine. Click on next. So see program files. This is the path. You can change the path if you want. I accept the terms and privacy of use. It's installing. Enter your email address and then say sign in. And then this gateway is going to be available online. Enter your password as well. And then it's going to sign in and the gateway would be now up and running in a few minutes. Next, uh, here you have to mention a gateway name. So you can create a gateway cluster as well, but we will we'll talk it out later. So this is uh, Mathy uh, Gateway. Okay, and then recovery key, uh, you can, uh, in order to restore, uh, you need to type a recovery key and confirm the recovery key. Uh, I'm not gonna show you what my recovery key would look like. Uh, but you have to make sure that the key is a complex character all right uh, so make sure you have a like a password key it's a recovery key and then say configure and the gateway should be up and running now so that is how the configuration of the gateway works I'm going to show you the gateway active here so here you would say that you would see it says Power Apps and Microsoft Flow is active. Power BI is active. For Logic Apps and Azure Analysis Service, you want to create a gateway. Don't worry about that now. Service Settings, you can change the account here. But for now, it's good. You can restart the gateway over here. Diagnostic, you can have loggings if in case of problem. You want to test connectivity, port numbers, and everything over here network just keep it all default and then connectors is here so you can add more custom data connectors i'm going to talk about it not now but in next few videos so this is how the gateway is up and running and then close go back to the power bi and refresh it so now it will say that it's the status is running and the gateway is listed so now you have the gateway you can click on schedule refresh in the refresh you can do daily or weekly and then uh, the time you can set you can add another time you can set up to eight times daily remember for pro it's eight times in case of failure it's going to give you an issue as soon as you say apply it says that the refresh has been scheduled so at the given time the refresh is going to happen and then you would see that refresh in the refresh history so in the history you would say that what was the refresh history when it was refreshed and stuff like that so that's how you configure the gateway and schedule a refresh on your Power BI service. So select the personal mode when, when I showed you to install the gateway. Uh, and then finally click on the schedule refresh and set daily a specific time or you can have weekly. A time for some hands-on exercises. So hands-on do-it-yourself tutorials number 32. Uh, upgrade your free account on Power BI service from free to pro version and then explore the Power BI service options. And then hands-on number 33 is install the gateway and test the connectivity and schedule a refresh. Now let's quickly see the refresh history because we are hit the time. 
at which the refresh was supposed to happen. So you can see that it says in progress. That means the refresh. So here I see refresh is in progress. I click on refresh history and see that the refresh is in progress. Once done, you would say that the refresh history is successful. Thank you for watching.